Beatus essay. This is High Priestess Yashodara Singh. Welcome, viewers. Welcome to your uh, prediction for the week uh, of 16 to 23rd of May. Remember, 23rd is your full moon. We are calling it the flower moon. This is the moon for uh, that. Uh, and the reason why it's called the flower moon is because, of course, spring is here. Um, the rebirth and renewal of each of us depends on the choices that are of importance at that particular time. And this week, you'll find that it's going to be all about balance, whether it is rest and work, whether it is uh, uh, eating what is what the body needs and not what you want, whether it is uh, a balance between uh, thinking and doing, um, professional and personal life, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, so that's what this week is going to be. Think of it like this yin and yang. This is what you should be. Okay, your yin energy and your yang energy, um, the chi that is called um the importance uh, energy force in your body in your life and in your surroundings <laughs> that should be balanced all right uh, let me begin by telling you that we are going to be covering the general theme in this uh, um, the central theme in this week in this video we will be covering the general card uh, deck which is four cards you'll have health wealth and relationships but first let's do the central theme so you've pulled out the philosopher card the card of balance, did I not tell you? And the card of nutrition. If you notice, uh, these cards are quite alike. They're literally twinning, right? They're green and there's a lot of green. So I'm gonna take um, all three of them together. When we talk about phil a philosopher, a person who goes in depth into what life is all about, what the purpose of life is, so on and so forth, you will find yourself and philosophers overthink. If there is anyone on this planet who thinks more than required, that's a philosopher. Now, there could be a purpose behind it, but you don't need to do a PhD in every single thing. Okay, why is inhaling lesser and exhaling more? Because when you go down and break it down to the, the small things, the minutesimal things, you'll find that it does begin to create an unwanted um, challenge in your life. You'll start expecting other people to be equally critical about everything in their life. And then you will, you, you, you stop thinking about all the simple pleasures and you start picking, nitpicking on the things. Okay, get it? So this is a, um, well, it's a double-edged sword. So, it's all right to be grateful. If you want to philosophize about something, it's all right. It's good to be grateful, in fact. But don't philosophize about uh, trying to find the why behind everything. If that why has some importance in your life, then please go ahead. But remember, time is of the essence here. But don't overdo it. Over anything is bad, okay? Overthinking, overanalyzing, anything is bad. Now let's come to this card, nutrition. Uh, this card speaks about you taking care of what is it that your body wants more than what is it that you, uh, uh, sorry, what is it that your body needs more than what is it that your body wants. And why I say that is because you will find that you, your thinking will be defined by what you put into your body. So if you eat fast food or if you're eating um, spicy food or you're eating at odd times or you're not eating on time, You'll find that your health, um, the why you pick up, like they say, um, I, all this gets affected. Your entire thinking process get, gets affected. Your lifestyle and your nutrition basically balance you. So be very careful what you're putting into your body, right? Uh, are you hydrating yourself? Are you having enough electrolytes, right? Have you had yourself checked up? So. Try and give some, all these cards are been bringing it down to healing. And that's why I asked you to pay attention to this, to the color. This is the color of the Archangel Raphael. So we are talking about healing here. We are talking about grounding and centering. We are talking about, please remind yourself that working hard and, uh, you know, thinking and philosophizing and keeping everything together is worth it only if your health is primary. Health is the most important thing that um, we should be thinking about and everything else falls into place later, right? Think about this, 
and uh, make this work for you for this week okay let's move on to the first week of uh, not the first week i'm still in the old rhythm uh, let's move on to the first deck we have the deck of the general view of the week of 16th to 23rd of may so we pulled out the chariot card we pulled out the beautiful nine of coins or the nine of pentacles the moon card is here and the seven of wands is here so i'm going to do this first the chariot card tells me that you could be a cancerian or dealing with one this card also tells me that you're being asked to balance the yin and the yang in your life do you see again if you want forward progressive movement in your life then this is what you're going to have to do you will have to balance the yin and yang in your life now i understand that for some of you it's a very general term what do you mean by that we're all unique maybe you need to um, go back into say one day of your life and see what is it that you think you should pull back on and what you should push towards and that's what is the disbalance that's been caused in your life so that's why i give you a blanket statement it could be i've already cited examples um, between your health um, you know and getting yourself checked up and assuming that nothing is wrong or um, working hard saying you know you'll compensate um, the lack of sleep over the weekend it doesn't work by the way if that's what you think how the body works it doesn't if you think you'll work for like uh, 12 hours every week and then over the weekend you'll sleep and sleep it doesn't work like that okay the body shuts down and uh, breakdowns happen and of course illnesses follow so just remember uh, if you can figure out that and if you want forward progress and if you can figure out what this disbalance is in your life you will enjoy this forward progress all right so the next major arcana card is the moon card this tells me that you could be a piscean or dealing with one this card also tells me that something in your life is uh, hidden and uh, because of that you're not being able to come to an informed decision and uh, this decision that is supposed to be confident uh, is being you know you're is elusive to you right now you're not able to decide because you don't have all the facts with you find out what is being hidden from you and i'm sure after that you'll be able to take a more concrete decision nine of coins don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card tells me that um, you're going to feel attracted to uh, luxurious things to beautiful clothes um, satins and georgettes and whatnot uh, you will want to buy an expensive watch expensive jewelry expensive uh, mobile phone tech, uh, tech gadget but you are going to be attracting um, a lot of this you'll find it you'll find yourself being you know continuously attracted to it and that's because you're giving out this kind of aura this is a very strong money energy this is called the energy of opulence now again if you really want to use this energy to your advantage you should you should do things at this point of time that will gain you that kind of traction in terms of finance but again during this time you can waste this energy by going and buying things that later on you'll regret right so be careful how you choose this, to use this energy also other people might get attracted to you um, because of what you're displaying what you're wearing um, and uh, they might uh, pull out some of this opulence and this energy out of you because of which you might feel drained out so uh, don't forget to leave some out for yourself and uh, don't let this happen to you right the seven of wands um, a beautiful card that comes after the six of wands six of wands remember is a card of victory this card says that recently you have enjoyed uh, a victory uh, big or small doesn't matter victory is a victory having said that you are still not uh, resting on your laurels you're continuing in your journey and uh, um, you are planting more seeds to reap later you and you are aware that this is hard work that will pay off later it's not a you know a, a, a headless chicken syndrome you're not running around in circles you know exactly what you're doing so you're planting for a secure future and you're planning for a secure future and that is something which is being noticed by people and it is something which is praiseworthy so give yourself credit for that okay all right um 
so that is the general deck done now let's come to the help for 16 to 23rd of may you've pulled out the knight of coins or the knight of pentacles the page of coins or the page of pentacles the emperor card and the ten of swords right so uh, remember this is the deck of health here we are talking about so you will be getting a you know when a uh, when coin cards come uh, in the health deck that means that you are emotionally attached to your money please detach yourself from that now this means that the moment you get in like you say um, you know if you're emotional about your salary you can be emotional about your job you can be emotional about your business you can be emotional about your work but if you are emotional about your money then it starts ruling your life and it's as simple as that and you can deny it as much as you want hey i'm not your judge and jury but sit and think about it do you love your job or do you love the money that the job brings you that will give you the answer if you love your job um, then that means that you're not emotionally attached to your money. If you love, love the money your job brings you, then you are emotionally attached to your money. And for some of you uh, smarties who think you'll say, I love both my job and the money it brings me, that actually means that you are attached to your money. It's a dangerous game you're playing. Please don't do it. Find a way to, to get out of this. Because once you get emotionally attached to your money, it's like an addiction. The moment the money starts going down and i myself have suffered from it it's taken me years to get out of it the moment you start feeling that you don't have enough money you start you start feeling like you know restless and that can re uh, lead to health problems okay so well coming back to the card knight of pentacles knight of coins tells me that you will be receiving um, an offer a money offer uh, it's already on the way and uh, that's going to be something that uh, is going to make you feel very good it will be a jump in terms of your uh, level of confidence uh, happiness joy and you might even want to celebrate that right so very good page of coins tells me that uh, a message in terms of money is what you will be receiving either uh, via email post or by word of mouth maybe even a phone call these two seem to be linked so that's happening in the third week so for those of you who have been uh, who applied for a job promotion business investment uh, buying, selling, real estate, property, uh, shares, investment, stocks, anything to do with the money aspect of your life, then that's happening in the third week, okay? So good, good for you. The Emperor card tells me that you could be an Aries or dealing with one. This card also tells me that you're planning to secure, you're thinking about how to secure the future of, your, of the next generation. Your next generation could be your siblings, offsprings, nieces, nephews, etc., this card also means that you're taking decisions in your life, keeping an elder in mind. This could be an adult in your own house uh, or could be your mentor, but this person is action oriented, right? The last card for the health section, you have the 10 of swords, which says uh, you are. So basically, if somebody leaves you alone during this week, you will try and not I mean, you will try and not think about this one thing which is nagging you in the back of your head. There is something that has happened which has uh, made you underconfident because your gut told you not to do this thing, but you went ahead and did it and now you're regretting it. It could be an investment in the wrong person or in the wrong thing, um, you know, a false belief, um, some kind of loss. Could be even trust and faith. But there's definitely something that's let you down and you fear that it's you yourself. Listen, um, I'm going to give you a piece of advice and I don't like giving advice, but I'm going to do it because this card has come. Okay, so go ahead and tell yourself what I'm telling you. Making a mistake is no big deal. Everybody makes mistakes. What is important is that you take this jewel, this gem that this mistake uh, teaches you and that is is the lesson that you're supposed to take out of it. The gem is the lesson. Take that gem, put it in your pocket and then walk away from it. Because this is a very low vibe and you don't want a low vibe in your life. All right? All right, Pio, let's move on to the next section, which is the wealth section. The wealth section for you has Ace of Wands, Six of Coins, 
or six of pentacles the page of pentacles has come again and the page of pentacles has come again right so that's <laughs> we already have two page of pentacle cards that have come in the previous deck of health and now on wealth so yes it looks like it is linked so the money offer that you will be getting the message that you'll be receiving is going to decide your health and your wealth right looks like it's going to be interlinked in the third week um of 16th to 23rd of may so good good and bad so i i told you why it's bad don't get emotionally attached to money but now that it's happening enjoy it and then you can work your way out of it ace of wands tells me that the dis the the challenge that you're facing at the moment has its solution in magic in occult now occult is a massive umbrella of practices um starting from astrology palmistry all sorts of therapy like aroma therapy color therapy stones right um magic light and dark uh, remedies so on and so forth uh, so if you um if you are facing a challenge right now then get in touch with, with someone who is tried and tested or who is trustworthy or both and please have your remedies done but the ace of wands is here to say two things to you number one you need to act now number two the solutions to your challenges lie within magic good news for both right six of coins six of pentacles tells me that uh, well you um somebody might be coming back into your life Uh, from the past and asking you for something of monetary value somebody you know this is not somebody unknown this is somebody known and this could be anything this could be money itself of course it could be and of course the promise of i'll give you the money back will be there listen to me and listen to me carefully because we handle these kind of cases every week if there's somebody who's taking money from you irrespective of your relationship with the person please take a pen and paper right and uh, tell them to write down and find this out whether it will hold in the court of law write down ask them to write down how much money is being given you know whatever is required as proof signature and then find out if it will stand in the court of law i'm not particularly sure um whether it works in this country or that but uh, you need to be very clear that the money will be given back to you because if this card is come that means the money money will not be given back to you even if it is returned it will be returned in parts and then slowly you know it will dwindle away this could also mean that uh, somebody might borrow your mobile your jewelry your car and it will not be returned in the same way so be careful if you want to say no i'm sorry i'm not comfortable doing that it's all right it's your thing right if i were in your place i uh, would probably have said no because uh, we all have suffered from this once bitten twice shy uh, there's no need to be uh, the kind hearted person if it's a huge amount if you can afford it even then get it in writing <coughs> otherwise they will keep coming back for more that i can guarantee you all right So there you go, and of course, lending and borrowing is against the rules of blue magic. So please don't forget that as well. Okay, you will have to be the sufferer in the bargain. Now let's go to the last deck of uh, for the week of sixteenth to twenty third May, which is the card of the deck of relationships. You pulled out the moon card again, the seven of coins, the four of cups, and the world card. Right. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So the moon card uh, tells me that you could be a Piscean or de uh, dealing with one. I see a lot of daydreaming happening in your relationship, viewer. Uh, you are you are living uh, more in your mind than in reality. You wish things were in such and such way, but it turns out to be, you know, like they say, reality bites. In another way, uh, if that is happening, it could be either from your side or. from the other side as well when i talk about relationships i'm not talking about your romantic relationship it could be your relationship with your boss your relationship with your child your relationship with your in-laws your parents your siblings your husband right so this is relationships that are important to you okay so something is being hidden from you it seems that somebody is not coming out uh, in the open as to 
either how they feel about you or how they this could be a facade issue right so somebody who's who's being very nice to you and uh, might backstab you that's a possibility now it's a possibility i am not saying it's a surety there's a general prediction okay so don't send me a message saying that i knew it okay because i see a lot of you jumping the gun if you want to have your readings done please get in touch and we will patch you across to one of our readers but this is definitely something that some of you might be feeling as of now seven of coins tells me that you are thinking of saving up uh, probably because you pulled out from some of your uh, you know some money from your savings and it's possible that you were saving up for something important say a family vacation buying a gift for someone uh, which was expensive you know uh, or maybe um, and it has and this is affecting your relationships it could be that you've given money to your relative and that person is not returning it back and now there is this awkward white elephant situation in your life right uh four of cups tells me that you you have you're not happy in the kind of scenario in your in your family life um you want more importance or you want a certain but it is this could be your professional life as well okay you want um more acknowledgement you want to be noticed more but that's not happening so this could be either personal or professional but this low vibe unhappiness that you're feeling please snap out of it because this is going to create more situations and more scenarios to make you feel low find the solution and snap out of it the world card interestingly uh, the world card is the card which says that one cycle is either ending or one cycle is about to begin tell yourself that depending on how you feel which means if you're feeling happy tell yourself oh it's just the beginning i still have a long way to go to enjoy this cycle and if you're going through a rough time then tell yourself that the cycle is just about to end okay now this card is also symbolic of the karmic pattern in your life so when it comes to relationships people come for two reasons in your life either they come to support you or they come to teach you something right you might have a karmic connection with people and i see there are a billion reels that have come out now with with a lot of people uh, who give either good knowledge or rubbish or partial good and partial rubbish but know this karma is a verb which means an action to do in hindi karma is a karam is a word so when the world card comes this says that someone in your life even if you like the person or don't like the person but by default have to interact with the person is there to teach you something and if this person is annoying tolerance if this person is somebody who keeps asking you for stuff probably that you learn to say no you see your a person who teaches you is a teacher they may be beneath you they may be above you they may be your equal but you don't get to decide that the decision by the universe has already been taken of making that person your teacher so you need to learn the lesson and be done with it and this could be anybody in your personal and professional life all right an interesting spread indeed isn't it okay if you are i will see you in the next couple of video uh, next video um, as of now remember 23rd is your full moon um, i want you to Pay attention to the cards that have come out because this was a very, very interesting spread, okay? I will see you in the next week and then we'll finish the month of May. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. Piyatis Essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinam.